Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will use the free version of Glary Utilities for Windows to permanently delete any file from our system. In our last tutorial, we saw how easily seemingly deleted files could be restored using a tool such as Recover. This time, we will take measures to ensure that when we delete a file, it stays deleted. We begin by launching our browser, Google Chrome, and navigating to the Glary Utilities homepage shown on screen now and in the written description accompanying this video. We click on the large green Download Now button. Whilst we read the thank you message, a small 17 megabyte installer quickly downloads. We clear the message by clicking in the upper right corner, and we click on the upward pointing arrow to display a menu from which we select the option to open. As is typical, user account control will seek confirmation of our intention to install an application, and as this clearly was our intention, we click yes to advance. The setup wizard appears, and to avoid distractions we close the browser window still running in the background. With the browser window closed, we click next to proceed. As is customary, Acceptance of the license terms is required in order to proceed with the installation, and we indicate consent by clicking I agree. We now select the destination folder into which the software will be installed. Novice or unfussy users can accept the default by clicking next, although our obsession with order compels us to click browse. And we select a custom installation path in keeping with our organised structure. With the custom installation path defined, we now click next to proceed. From the additional tasks menu, we decline the option to join the customer experience improvement program, then click install to begin the file copying process. Installation is swift and can be monitored using this screen. Upon completion, we can immediately run the program by clicking finish. The main user interface appears. Although there are many capable file shredders, we've chosen Glary Utilities because the suite offers a number of other functions, some of which we will feature in subsequent tutorials. In the background, a web page displays advertising the commercial version of Glary Utilities. As this channel always looks to free solutions wherever possible, we close the background window. We make one change to the default settings in order to prevent Glary Utilities running at startup. This will not affect the ability to run the tools used in this tutorial at any time, but will prevent Glary Utilities taking up additional time and resources at startup. We click Menu and at the menu which appears, we drop down to Settings and click. The General Settings window appears, and we untick the option to load Glary Utilities automatically on Windows Startup. Of course, if you subsequently find the other aspects of Glary Utilities indispensable, you may wish to allow the application to start with Windows. With the option unticked, we select OK to return to the main window. Now we identify our file for secure deletion. In our Downloads folder is an Excel spreadsheet, detailing our top secret financial matters, and when we delete this file, we don't want it to fall into the hands of the enemy. When we right click, we notice that installing Glary Utilities adds four new items to the context menu. Note also that these options will remain in the context menu, irrespective as to whether or not the main Glary Utilities program is running. We drop down to the option to wipe with Glary Utilities, which immediately prompts another appearance from user account control. Once again, we know what we're doing, so we click yes to continue. We are now presented with a summary of the files to be deleted. In this instance, the single file we have selected. Note, however, that we have the option to add further files or folders, and to increase or decrease the number of times the delete operation is performed, with more repetitions equating to greater security. With our single file only selected, we click erase now. We are provided with a crucial warning that no matter what recovery tools we may have demonstrated in our last tutorial, these will be ineffective against permanent deletion. We click yes and accept that our file will be gone forever. With that, our file is erased and no longer appears in its original location. In our last tutorial, we used recover to restore deleted files. When we try the same technique with this file, the recover scan runs but fails to detect the deleted file and therefore it cannot be recovered. As an additional bonus feature, note also the tab labelled Wipe Free Space to the right of the file shredder. Clicking Wipe Now here will wipe all of the unoccupied space on the drive, again making the recovery of any files extremely unlikely. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. 
If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the Tech Fix Flicks YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official Tech Fix Flicks Twitter account. Until your next Tech Fix, goodbye.